This is a 40 gallon mobile home for a uh, water heater. You can tell by the way it's made. The, this is the outlet and the intake down there sleeping here. And it's uh, again another internal leak. Got water on the floors and took this uh, cover here off. Okay, on mobile homes, there's always a valve. Usually it's under the trailer, you have to pull the skirting off. In this mobile home, we have power. And we have water. So the valve is right there. And I just pulled that up. So um, now the next problem is it's like a straw here. The hose is hooked to the bottom of the water here, but no water is coming out. Well, what I do is take the top of the valve off, which is uh, not always easy either. But anyway, take the top of the valve off. And then you try to you have water. You're gonna have when you do get this thing open, all this water is gonna be coming out of this valve. So I usually keep a vacuum cleaner like right there. Turn it off, and then take a thermocouple, no thermocouple, and take it in the hole. There we go. Okay. Draining the water out in the backyard. Now I don't see it draining anymore. From here, but I, do, but I do see some steam, so I think it's still going. Now, it's important to mark the hot side or the cold side. I, I actually mark which way the water is going. This is three quarter inch PEX. So, and this can, once you let the, some of the water out of the tank, then you can disconnect. You know, the other uh, on this one, you can disconnect it, otherwise, you have water coming out on the floor. So, anyway, we decided to use the uh, inlet side, the cold side, to, to, with the water hose on it because. Well, the drain was just so full of sediments um, and rock, it just was poor flow. And we don't want to be here all day. So, here we go. Step three. So now all the water's gone in the mobile in the uh, mobile home water tank here. And we can tell that because you can move the tank with your hand. We did disconnect the electric. And there it is up there. I pulled it out of there, disconnected the wire nuts. And I put it out of my way so we don't get stuck with a piece of wire. Get the power off so we're not going to get juiced and uh, we don't want to be juiced so okay we got the old water heater out the water heater the water heater <laughs> all right anyway um here and to get the thing opened up there's a water heater inside how about that so we're going to take the top of this thing off and install it cody's going to you got on video yep okay we're like all right anyway you want to hook this thing up. This is your drain pipe. Now, code is, we're in a mobile home, but it, but normally the code is for the basement or the house. You got to have it within, uh, five. I think it's five to six, six inches from the floor up. The thing has to be within five inches to the floor or to your, uh, if you have a drain tank, you have to be five inches above that. Anyway, you want to put this on before you put the water in the tank. <laughs> Yeah, <laughs> otherwise uh, we'd have a bigger mess on the floor. Yeah, you know, it's just really hard to turn a tank full of water. <laughs> You're looking at the top of the tank here. Hook the wires up. Use a 3 8 inch connector for the, to hold, the, uh, hold this wiring, this uh, Romex wiring sturdy in there. Get your screws back in there. Now you see I got a red one and a yellow one. It don't matter what color they are, but um, this is what I had. Hold those together, you have 220 volts in there, so if you do have a white wire, wrap it in black tape so you know people know you got two hots. Um, I, before I put any of these connectors, Cody's got here, but the connector, you see it's got a rubber seal on the bottom of it. Before we hook that up, wrap it in some Teflon, you know, because you don't want to come back two years later and have all these, like, water, uh, you know, you'll see white residue coming out of this thing uh, be all over top of the tank where it leaks a little salt on it. You want the valve on the cold side because you need to be able to change, change the tank in the future. You don't want to have to go down 
go outside and climb under your house or, or wherever your water shut off is. Dave again. Just one. Yeah. He's bleeding the air off. Anyway, we filled the line, opened up the hot side on the uh, bathtub. Close this thing off when you hear water coming out of it. And open up your bathtub to your open up the bathtub to let the water out. Um, don't let it don't let water go into your washing machine or anything until you go outside and open up a hose or something. Open up your water coming out, then check to make sure we got power here. So we use a uh, tool here like this or you can put a meter in there probably be safer using the meter but um we want to get a, a false reading but see how we got no power so you go over to breaker box and flip this on and now there's power going to this thing so it's sensing power so you can actually hear it. Hear them kicking in. If you listen real close, you can hear them. So it's working. 